Kaduna State Government plans another competency test for teachers. This after announcing the dismissal of more than 200 teachers for presenting fake certificates. A group of women protest at the home of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State. They are saying they lost children at the Lekki Toll Plaza on October 20th, 2020. Just the papers are in and we'll be reviewing the stories on the front pages. Well, glad to have you join us on the final day of the breakfast for this week. I am Justin Akadone. And I am Messi Bopo. It's good to have you join us this beautiful Friday morning. Yes, and as usual, we always start with top trending. What's uh, Nigerians talking about? And this morning, we'll start off with uh, the Minister of, Li uh, Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, is in the news again. And this time around, and the federal government is planning uh, on regulating you know, uh, some streaming platforms. Specifically, now, uh, Netflix was mentioned. Merci. I enjoy watching my movies and I can't I just enjoy my movies in peace without the much of regulation. I pay for these services. I should be as much as possible enjoy what I'm paying for. I understand the federal government wants to have some sort of control concerning uh, what Nigerians see or what Nigerians watch or what Nigerians listen to or what Nigerians say. But then again, whatever happened to my freedom, you know, for, for, I'm trying to come down. It's a Friday. I'm so to some people, some, some people would actually say that uh, Nigeria is actually trying to copy the the model that China actually used. But we also need to understand that China operates a closed economy, and there's a reason for all of that. And that's it because they want to system. ensure that you know there's growth and development for them, amongst all the stuff. So um, it's a socialist, you know or communist, uh, you know, economy. Mm. Now, the point is, I really do not understand where we're driving at and what's really, really going on, you know, with the federal government. Now, before you begin to say, okay, yes, you want to regulate X, Y, Z, you want to do this, you want to do that. Mm. One is expected to say that the government should have provided, you know, the basic necessity. And I'm thinking that the issue of governance and the parity, uh, you know, the essence of being in government has been neglected over the years. And we constantly just pay attention to things that are not very relevant to us. I mean, how does that contribute to, you know, growth and development? How does that, you know, uh, translate into the standard of living of a people? Yeah. How does that solve all of the insecurity issues? I just feel like we're just not paying attention to the things that we need to pay attention to. to. Uh, yeah. We're just paying attention to things that we don't need to pay attention to. Yeah, right. And it just shows a disconnect between the government and the people. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, taking it back. With all of the issues that we have in Nigeria, all of the concerns and all of the things that were being plagued with, how come we were concerned about having to regulate Netflix? It is, it is, it is alarming because even the excuse or, or the reason the federal government gave, although the Minister of Information was represented in a bio, you know, by someone, that the excuse he gave was that uh, the it's just all in a bid to you know reduce um, chaos because uh, you know those uh, streaming platforms became popular last year in the wake of um, the COVID-19 pandemic, the lockdowns, and people just had to resort to some other forms of entertainment. You know the movie, nobody was going to the theatre, nobody was going out you know for leisure and for you know uh, uh, recreation. So people had to fall back on um, Netflix and. Uh, he said that it became so popular and that so many people are actually on those platforms and he felt there is a need, you know, to regulate it. We've had so much of regulation. You talk no, there's about no, 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 the, the point is there's like, no need to regulate. Um, yes, first of all, there's, the government, the, the Nigerian government needs to understand that there's no need to regulate, you know, Netflix. It is not our, pro Netflix is not our problem and can never be our pro problem in the next 10 years, in the next 20, forever and ever. Netflix. <laughs> no, you have the issue of people forever. saying that we're marginalized we're not being carried along no, you have not. the people you have concerns you know of people in the niger delta region saying that we have been contributing our region has actually served uh, you know the country as uh, you know the activities is ongoing you find that the issue of oil exploration and the fact that the region is underdeveloped you want to talk about the south is the ipop those who are saying oh what we want you know a different country we don't want to become part of the entity i mean there are different groups uh, if you want to look at that these oh. are some of the issues we should be paying attention to you look at the kaduna abuja highway you look at the highways that are not very safe anymore for travel and all of that 
These are the things we should be looking at. Netflix can never be a problem. It is not Nigerian's problem, can never be Nigeria's problem. It is a total, you know, embarrassment that the Nigerian government, I, I, I say it the way it is. I just wake up and just don't know, so what's, what are we regulating Netflix for? Really, let's look at it. He we said, have issue of insecurity. Exactly to, to we have issue players. of bandits. We have issue of Boko Haram and terrorists. And yet we're, we're saying let's regulate. No, no, that's not it. That's, that's entirely not it. The issue just shows the disconnect. And I'm hoping that we're getting ready for 2023. Because you see, the, the, the Nigerian people, I'm, I'm serious. We constantly just talk and talk and complain. But when it, it gets when it gets to the point where we need to begin to show action and show the working, we were nowhere to be found. No, and until not. the people no, understand that power the resides power belong, with us, the until we understand that we are the only ones that can change this country and that the change that we are looking for, it's not anywhere, but it's with us. Yeah. Until then, we, we're never going to get it. But like I, would, I, like I would say, and I would still say that Netflix is not Nigeria's problem. It is not a problem. We, we are grippling with uh, you know, food inflation and Nigerians are actually paying through the noses to get uh, you know, food stuff and um, the price of um, cooking gas in the market is another thing to, you know, to, to battle with. So uh, I don't think we need to worry ourselves uh, concerning uh, you know, Netflix or other streaming, uh, streaming platforms. Uh, Lasso is in the news this time around. Uh, you remember how uh, celebrities uh, you know, say they will not uh, be joining the Lagos State, uh, you know, healing the land and, of course, and peace walk. Uh, but then the Lasso students are in agreement uh, with uh, the Lagos State government as they are in solidarity. We'll take a video of that and we'll come back and talk some more. Stay with us. Welcome back. You just watched the Lagos State Governor there, Babajide Songolu, and um, a cross session. Several Alasu um, you know, students are all in solidarity. They want to show their support, or they have, and you know, mentioned that they will support the government, uh, the governor, in his uh, peace walk, and uh, he uh, intends to heal the land. As it were, remember uh, when uh, just in the wake of the release of the white paper, uh, the the panel that sat on the NSAS, uh, you know, killings and uh, lucky shootings and all, you know, uh, the governor did invite uh, some celebrities, uh, Mr. Macaroni Falls and uh, you know, popular lawyer and activist that Dili Farotimi, and them um, they have, you know, quickly in a swift reaction declined, you know, his invitation that they would not, you know, match, you know, or work with him until they. You know, see justice is um, done and served to people who actually deserve it. So, mercy, the last few students are saying that they will join the governor in his, you know, you know, move to heal Lagos. Uh, first of all, we need to understand that, you know, Lasu, that's the Lagos State right. University, it's a, it's a government owned, it's a state government university. And please just, you know, just think about that. Logically, do the mathematics and do the calculation. So anything can happen. But I see that the state governor is putting so much effort. You could see that he is struggling. He's, he's doing too much at the same time, uh, you know, to just, you know, put a particular image. And that doesn't really make sense. I, I could see the struggle from that video. You could see so much energy. Why are you exacting all of that energy? And for what purpose exactly? Now you, you just, you continue just, it shows that there's a disconnect. So there's a disconnect in the sense that you're not even listening. You're not even paying attention to what the people are saying. Let's look at you know some of the persons that he openly invited. Uh, these are persons that have been very vocal about the protest and were involved about the protest. And they have been very consistent. And I say that these men are the heroes. These men are the real deal. And then, like you also want to agree with me, that you have these state actors who are leaving, non-state actors who are, you know, 
behaving the way the state actor should behave. But of course, you can never be a judge in your own case. There would always be sentiment. But at the end of the day, uh, this person that you've called out, you, you need to also, when I say there's a disconnect, you're not listening. People just look and don't pay attention. So you could just be here and you're not paying attention. And that's exactly what's going on with governance in Nigeria. And we can see that in the case of Lagos State Governor. Uh, why have the people said that they want to show up for the work? And you're saying you will never work alone and then you look for an institution of government again uh, where, where, where government has control. Mm -hmm. And of course, whoever, uh, how is that said again? A, a, a system, an institution where government has control, what do you then expect? You would expect that the student will say, we will, uh, you know, we will see as you do. We will work with you. Day, we will never work target, alone. You know, That's exactly what's playing out. You know, so uh, uh, we cannot be uh, carried away by all of that. No, we can't. We now, can't if government, I mean, this, this part of thought, if government is paying attention to what's being said, then they would listen to, uh, you know, some of the uh, statement that the likes of Fowles, Macaroni, and others have actually said, why, what are they saying? Why are they not coming out for the work? They're saying that there's no way you were going to have peace. Why are you asking for us to have peace? How can there be peace when there's no justice? Now, we've also seen the fact that those some women have actually come out, you know, to cry and say, hey, we lost kids, we lost children. The word is we lost children at the toll gate. And we cannot, you know, act like nothing happened. No, let's take a stroll. Let's, let's, let's walk around the city. because At, at all. We can actually working. just sit and um, just uh, fold our arms and pretend as if nothing of such has happened. Indeed, there are some uh, mothers uh, who allegedly lost their uh, you know, children uh, in the NSAS, uh, the lucky shooting in October 2020. 20, you know, came out to protest and uh, they are making some demands. Uh, let's see that video and we'll come back and talk more about it.
Oh, it's, uh, you just watched um, that clip. There are women who allegedly, you know, lost their loved ones um, last year, you know, last year, and uh, they are just speaking out their heart, throwing out their hearts to the state government, insisting that there will be no peace walk if um, the government uh, does not, um, you know, meet with them and um, ensure that justice is served. They said they want to see accountability, which is one, one of their demands, and they said um, they want the government, the governor specifically, you know, to, you know, follow Follow through with the uh, not tribunal, as they mentioned. You know the panel's uh, you know uh, recommendations in the white paper that was presented. Mercy, indeed, I don't see any reason why we should be talking about um, peace, uh, peace work when this one who actually are really feeling all the brunt. Uh, you know, are just you know they've not even been able to find any sort of closure. They are saying that. Um, no one should actually think of uh, working, you know, when uh, they are just languishing and the government is, uh, is just acting as though nothing really happened. You know, I guess, uh, you know, we had the other time, you know, was of the opinion that the state government should have some sort of a tripartite meeting but, uh, among uh, them, uh, the uh, attorney general of uh, the state and, of course, civil society. So all of these issues can actually be talked about, you know, the issues that have been mentioned by the white paper should be discussed and followed through, not just to swipe it under the carpet and just, you know, bring some alternative uh, move of uh, a peace walk. That's only going to happen if um, those who should, uh, those who are involved in all of this or those who are managing all of this agree. Uh, so how do you, can two work together except there be no, they, some they can't. Of agreement? No, they can't, at all. Now, the they government can't. is not even believing in the fact that anything Happen. really happened. So That's how so is it so possible sad. to not have that conversation? It's simple. The, you look at the reports. And some of the things that have been, you know, requested or demanded for, it's not rocket science. I have not seen that anyone... simple, basic things. Because if you want to say, let's go by the law of Moses, you know, tooth for tooth. A life for life. A life for life. Nobody's asking a life for life. Not at all. People are saying that some people should, you know, uh, be resign. Held accountable. Should be held yes. accountable. Some people should answer questions and X, Y, Z. Mm. But that's not going to happen or that's not even happening. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to happen, okay? But I really doubt, looking at the body language of, you know, the government and those involved, how is that really going to happen? So, first of all, it's not possible if the government is not agreeing. That's on the first hand. Now, on the second hand, uh, I know that after now, I can predict that, you know, the government is going to respond to these women who have actually come, that come out, should. you know, to protest. They should. And this is what's going to be uh, the response. The response will be that, oh, they have been hired by some anti-government elements <laughs> that want to, again. you know, destabilize the country and destabilize the states. These persons have been hired. But if you pay attention to that video, you, you need to feel, you would feel the emotion. You will feel I the I got pain. all the emotions, you all would the feel efforts. everything feel that is, that's going on. Now, the beautiful thing about it is, as the day actually you know goes by with the fact that we have the white paper that's been released i remember when we had one of the guests on this platform we're talking about the fact that the truth will never uh, die and as much no as we how travel, long it is. so now we're, ju we're just saying that because there were questions as regards oh how come we've not had those who lost their loved ones come out to talk about it and here we have we have this women and so this is just the beginning. There's going to be more. But it just shows you that there's a total disconnection with the ruled and the rulers. Those who are ruling and, and those... You, you're not listening. You're not even paying attention to what's going on. And this is really, really bad. It is actually... a a human right concern it is it actually is. a human right you know issue and this is the point where we we will need uh, as much as we say yes we need to uh we're a sovereign nation nigeria should be able and has the capacity to call shot but this is where human rights you know the international community uh will need to have to step in of course we're talking about global peace and prosperity of the entire nation or the world as it were uh, at this point in time we're also hoping that the international community will step on because this is totally sad. And every time we get to talk about it, emotions welling up. And I feel like tearing. Yes. Uh, well, it is really, really a very uh, 
a sad, um, unfortunate um, incident right now. The voice of the people will actually be, you know, what should be paramount at all times. You know, these people are the mundane justice. They just feel that they need to get some sort of closure so they can actually indeed, you know, move on with their lives. It is something really, really, really sudden. All right, we'll take a quick break. That's as much as we can take uh, on Top Trend. And uh, in a moment, we'll come back and uh, review the top, uh, you know, headlines on the various uh, pages of the news papers this morning and would have uh, an analyst that you know do justice to that in a moment when we return it's still the breakfast on plus tv africa